crash and burn. Hey everybody. So tonight again, I'm, I'm guessing you already clicked on this because you like the thumbnail. Maybe you've had the same question in your head rattling around all these years too. But what caused the end of the world in the movie or the book for The Road from Cormac McCarthy or the movie by John Hillcoat? What was the catalyst for the world slowly dying? Now I know that officially Cormac McCarthy, he was asked about this a number of years ago and he, I can't remember if he would either, he wouldn't say or he couldn't say, which meant that if he, he wouldn't say that would imply that he did have something kind of carved in stone. He just chose to omit that from being included in the book. Um, but if he couldn't say, maybe that's because he chose not to decide what caused the end of the world. But I do know that he went on, went on record and said that he did like the idea of a meteor hitting the planet, which would of course throw it completely out of line and cause everything to die on it. So it, it does make sense. And we don't really have much info from either the man or the boy in the road who they never really get into it. All, all we get from the man is the clock stopped at 1.11. I think it was 1.11 a.m. And it was, you know, a great flash and then a series of low concussions. And you see him in the movie and in the book with his wife, they, they shoot over to the, he shoots over to the bathtub and starts to fill it with water, which if I'm not mistaken, and that's what you're supposed to do when there's like, oh God, some kind of natural disaster. I can't remember exactly what it is. It's like a forest fire or some shit. You're supposed to fill the bathtub with water for some reason or another. I am really unprepared for the end of the world, as it turns out, because I know you're supposed to fill the bathtub with water. I thought you had to fill all your sinks with water when it came to like a radiation leak like, you know, a nuclear power plant goes, because we're sandwiched between two of them here. You throw your thyroid pill back, and then you fill all your, all of your sinks and your bathtub with water, because it helps stop the radiation from coming up through. But I don't even really know how accurate that is. God damn, if the world ends, I'm finished. And I have to survive. I am not going to be a Mad Max type character. I'm just going to be a victim. But yeah, so what do you think caused the end? Do you think it was a meteor that does stand to reason because it does seem this, this would be more of a natural disaster because I do believe that if it was something a little more cataclysmic, something along the line, sorry, a, a, a nuclear holocaust of some kind, something like that cataclysmic, I think the characters would have discussed that at some point and McCarthy most likely would have tossed that info into the book at some point, like I said, somewhere. So what do you guys think? Do you think it was a meteor or do you think maybe it was a war? I don't know, personally, given what we see in the movie and what we read in the book, you just see like trees falling and everything's gray and even the water is gray and it's just the planet is slowly dying. So I do get the impression that it was something maybe a little more natural, perhaps along the lines of a meteor, but I guess we'll never know. But again, this video ran way too long. Just did another video about the Trailer Park Boys and I tried to keep that one short too and I messed up there too because again, that was three minutes as well. I'm getting out of here. You guys are amazing. Sorry for this running so long. Have a great night.